at my crib. <laughs> we are at a triplex in Capitol Hill where we're doing a full renovation on. We're actually remodeling all three units, uh, turning them into two bedrooms, two bath units, and then we're adding an additional unit in the basement. We're gonna talk about how you can get your unit added without jeopardizing your income and how to do it in a quick, effective way. So let's take a look. She's a peach. She is a complete peach. We got a lot of work to do here. Okay. Freaking contractor put the keys on the inside of the door. What the fuck? <laughs> don't cut yourself. Uh, I don't hey, know, you guys, bro. I do this all the time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so why did we buy this property? East Lake is one of the best neighborhoods in Seattle that typically only generate a five cap or a five on five percent cash on cash return. What this project is, is we paid $1.1 million for three units. We're going to put about $300,000 reciting, putting all new windows in, reframing the structure into two bedroom, two bath, extra large units with high end finishes that are going to get us around $3,500 a unit per floor. So that is going to bring us in $10,500 just for the top floors. Then what we're going to do is we're going to actually pull a separate permit and add an additional unit in the basement. You gotta watch out, lots of nails, lots of shit in this place. Um, so we're gonna add in that additional unit, which is gonna give us another $3,000 a month. So our cost basis on this project is gonna be roughly 1.45 to 1.5 million, and it's gonna bring us in 14,000 to 15,000 a month in income before expenses. I've heard for the last three years that you cannot cash flow in Seattle, which is incorrect. What you can do is work for your money, create the right plan, and get extremely high returns in prime locations of Seattle as long as you implement the right strategy. So we're going to talk about how you implement the right strategy, what kind of finishes you need to do, and then what kind of permitting process you need to do to optimize your ca monthly cash flow, get the highest possible return out of this investment, and do it in the right steps so you don't wait for months and months just to get the building occupied.